Now, what would you think life would be like in this country without any government funding for the arts? Boring. Boring? Oh, you think so, huh? Well, obviously, you haven't been to the Kentucky Fried Chicken Museum. No. <laughs> they don't receive a penny of NEA funding. <laughs> Why would they need that? Well, that's exactly Congress's point, right? Who needs arts funding when you got great privately funded museums? Want to go to some of them? Sure. <laughs> Here they are. Everybody likes art, even the federal government. Last year, the National Endowment for the Arts spent $162 million of our tax dollars on places like these. The Whitney Museum, the Guggenheim Museum, and the Metropolitan Museum. But now, because under 1% of that money goes to art some people find offensive, that's all going to change. These porno freaks keep getting this money. Cut off their little pipeline to your pocketbook called the National Endowment for the Arts. And cut they will. The House of Representatives has already voted to phase out the NEA in two years. And we will shut down that NEA and padlock and fumigate the building. I tried to imagine a world without the NEA. What would it be like? To my surprise, it already existed. Places like the Kentucky Fried Chicken Museum, the Museum of Tobacco Art, the Museum of Beverage Containers and Advertising, the Sacred Arts Museum, and Coke World. I decided to visit them all. Who needs the Mona Lisa when you can go to the Colonel Sanders Museum in Louisville, Kentucky? This is the Colonel Harlan Sanders Museum. There's not a penny of your tax dollars here. Did you get any NEA funding? No, we didn't. It's finger licking good. Not a single penny of government money. No. All of these things really came from the Colonel's personal collection. And what a collection it is. This is really like the showpiece. I think that is a great chicken moment. And who supports this place? Why, the Colonel's own corporation. Thank you, Colonel Sanders, for your tasty chicken. Whistler's mother is nice. But you can't smoke her, like the carved pipes featured at the Museum of Tobacco Art and History in Nashville. No NEA money here. They're funded by tobacco interests. Is there smoking allowed in here? Smoke, chew, do almost anything. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. American Gothic. Hey, what's more American than beer? Look at these cans. It just goes to show what free enterprise can do. Ask Tom Bates of the Museum of Beverage Containers and Advertising. Do you get any government funding through the National Endowment for the Arts? No, what really keeps it going is our gift shop. No federal tax dollars here, just art, art, and more art. It's very educating if you, if you just go around and take a look at the different cans from the different uh, years. So in the world of beer cans, this is like the Louvre, and this would be the Mona Lisa. <laughs> sure, the Sistine Chapel is a beautiful work of art. But take a trip to the Sacred Arts Center in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and you get Jesus as your own personal tour guide. Uh, the funding comes from uh, the small admission charge uh, to cover the expenses and Which so forth. Is that forth. $2? Dollars? Uh, yes, or you can get, if you get a package deal, it's like six. Wow. Paintings, sculptures, and all of the art has Jesus in it. Jeez, that is a big Jesus. We have about a quarter of a and not a single money. drop of NEA money. No need for tax dollars when you've got the free market and the big man on your side. Why settle for an Andy Warhol painting when you can have the real thing? At Atlanta's Coke World, the newest of the private museums, you can drink the art right in. Wow, that Coke sign is almost as big as Jesus. You put this all together without one penny from the government? Oh, that's right. Oh, yes, this is only Coca-Cola money in here. What an inspiring place. A tribute to the kind of museum the free market can produce. Okay, we started out at nine drinks a day back in the very early days and then up to six million. Nowadays we're about 8,000 a second, so. Wow. <laughs> you think this is like a museum? Yeah. Would you rather see a museum like this or a bunch of old paintings? Definitely one like this. Even though the government won't be paying for art museums, they're still going to pay for some museums, military museums, like the Army Chemical Warfare Museum in Fort McClellan, Alabama. You would tighten this until you had a very tight fit around so no, no chemical could seep. Where is the napalm exhibit?
There are over 70 military museums like this, and none of them have to worry. They're funded by the Pentagon. This is our Mickey Mouse mask. The children weren't afraid of Mickey. They became Mickey, in fact. You know, they thought of themselves as Mickey Mouse. So don't worry, America. Even if the NEA goes bottoms up, we'll still have our gas masks, bottles, fried chicken boxes, the giant Jesus, and plenty of beer cans. But what's this one doing here? That was probably a drinker right that was there. A drinker. Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, if I was at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, they would tell me to put that bush away. <laughs>